Well, it's a very pastoral question I I gathered as I was reading the book at hand here today, Bobbing's Christian Worldview, that this new generation had arisen that exchanged modernistic certainty for an appreciation in the unrecognizable and unknowable. So he keeps talking about these shifts in, in the culture, and he seemed to have a very pastoral heart right at the beginning of what he's attempting to address with this little book is answer some of the you know these existential questions that people are having as they're they're kind of tossed to and and fro in in the world and not knowing how to make sense of it because a previous secular unbelieving way of making sense of the world that's fallen apart and you know but without the the triune god as revealed in scripture and as he has revealed himself even in the world if you're not going to start there as your starting point epistemologically ontologically however you want to uh, begin, um, you're not going to find the answer, and you're only going to find meaninglessness. And so I, I, I found this. This isn't just a you know some sort of abstract book where some contemplation about some some bizarre epistemological facts. This is a pastoral book in many ways. Yes, yeah, so, uh, and it began in a pastoral context towards his students as well, because the so the first edition before it was a book, it was a, a rectorial address to the students of the free university. So and Bavik had only been there for two years, um, but the, the rector post changed every year. Um, so he was the rector for a year, and then you would give lectures to the students. I give a lecture at the beginning of your year as rector, another one at the end. So this is his closing address to the students um, as rector. So and to, to be a theology student in the Netherlands in that period was... Um, you, know, you were really at, at the, the very front line of huge debates that were really you know, existential and um, that had a huge bearing on what your life would be like and you know what your convictions would go on to be. Um, and having wants the students at the Free University to hold fast to their faith, um, you know, they're part of they're in the heart of Amsterdam. They're part of their wider culture, and they're not hermetically sealed from that because of this new confessionally reformed university. Um, or not confessionally reformed, but based on reformed principles explicitly, I should say, um, at other universities. Mm-hmm. So it is pastoral. It's, it's, these aren't abstract concerns. He's trying to help his students um, navigate really choppy waters. Well, he, he also ends the book pastorally in just the very last two pages. He says that a true Christian world in life view is a way of being, not merely a way of knowing. And he talks mm-hmm. about how to imbibe that way of being, the what has to be present is what must be present for a true dogmatician to do dogmatics, and that's communion with the living God. Uh, he says that religion, true religion, in the sense of, of how Calvin would say it, perhaps, is a precondition for any Christian world and life view. It cannot be a mere intellectualism. It has to be brought on through the life of prayer, the means of grace. Um, true communion with God. And, and that's the last thing he says in the works, how, how he ends the third chapter. 